All right, welcome to Roblox Studio, everybody. Uh, if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, how do I get this? Uh, oh, he's locked. There we go. <laughs> he moved. How do I get this object where the character is in the same pose he was in <coughs> when I paused the game? Ooh, that's some interesting texture garbage that's going on. Uh, just because it's Roblox. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so first thing you do is you gotta uh, open up a random project. So I'm in something right now. Um, I can't remember what this was, but it's one of the presets. And then I deleted like every object in it because I just wanted the landscape. And then, uh, so it doesn't really matter what you're in, but what you do is you go to the test tab up here. See, test. And I put the secret shortcuts up here on the top. Uh, for me because it's a lot easier that way, uh, but anyway go to the test tab and You can click play and it's just f5 or you can click play here now Don't do run because there's not gonna be a player So my favorite is play here because it's because then it doesn't spawn me in some random place and Now what you'll see here is I'd have a player in The game okay, what you do is you go like this you click open workspace you select the object the model with your player name and then you right click and you go down to select children now you'll see that i set this shortcut to alt c that's a lot easier for me because i use that function a lot but go ahead and select it another way you could do it is you could just expand this and then click on the top one hold shift and click on the bottom one oh uh something happened uh <laughs> i just messed him up okay Back to normal. Pretend that didn't happen. Open workspace. Find the object, the model with your player name. Uh, select children with right click or set your hotkey. And then what you do with this is you copy it. You can you can actually do this two ways. You can go right click and copy, <clears throat> or you can just hold Control and press C. That's a lot easier in my opinion. And then you paste it. Why are you? Over oh. And I'll let you know what this is. So the collision is coming from the um, human root part that's inside here. And uh, you'll find out that you cannot tip this thing over. You cannot. It's impossible because it's designed to keep the player upright despite any um, interference from physics or animations. So watch this. If I rotate this, stop moving, dude. Uh, dude, you're proving me wrong. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's just, just colliding with the floor or something. Okay, so that's not the right thing to do though, because first of all, you see it pasted in the stiff position, so it did not save my character pose. And watch what else happens when I stop this and I paste it. It done janked everything up. And sometimes I can see these parts spewed across the map. It's just ridiculous. It's like, it's like the player exploded or something. Don't use that. You're gonna have to reposition everything. There's a much easier way. So go back into playtesting, <clears throat> and here's what you do. You, you find yourself again, you select children, but this time you anchor it. And then you copy and paste it. Where did it go? The only way to see it would be to pause it so I can go into free camera. Oh, there he is up there. So you see, now it saves the pose, which is pretty awesome, right? That's what we wanted in the first place. Now you can stop it. And you can go paste and there's a problem it still spews everything all over the place so here's what you do to fix that uh, delete this make sure you actually delete it that's really important because if there's multiple humanoid objects in the scene it will mess everything up okay here we go now pay attention to closely what it names this so what we're gonna do is you know you know uh, anchor that copy paste and we're gonna pause this so and go into free camera. And what you'll see is that this is called workspace. That's because for the humanoid part to work and put all the parts together to make a person that can animate and stuff, it has to be a group. So this is a group with everything else in workspace. The parent is workspace. So it's counting that as the group that it's in. If there were other objects in the scene, they would also be you know, part of workspace. So they would be part of this humanoid. And it, it can stand here, but the problem is you can't have more than one of this little humanoid part in there. So I just did control V to paste. 
And then you've got to do control G or go to the model tab and find where it says group. Okay. So now it's called model because that's the default name of a group. And then you have to copy this. Make sure you copy the model. And then you stop it and you paste it. And here you go. And make sure it's not locked. Yeah, it, it starts out locked. So Alt L or click this. Don't do unlock all unless you really need to. And now you have your player in the pose. Now you might be wondering, how do I get rid of this stupid words? So that's really easy actually. Now just click on the name and enter a space and then hit enter. And then your name is gone. Now you might have some trouble finding it. So you might want to keep names on these things until you're ready to, you know, take pictures of the scene or make it into a game. But a space replaces the other characters and will make it so it doesn't have that garbage. Oh, by the way, I did modify this pose down here a little bit for the thumbnail. Okay, so uh, what should I do? And, and the point of this, the way I use this, copying the player is to go ahead and start it in a natural pose so that I can, I can adjust things later. So we'll just go into traditional, we won't add a skeleton to this. Let me just select the arm. Okay, so now you can do stuff like that. And this would be a good basis for how to start your poses because now it's already in a natural position and you don't have to just worry about you can just derive it from the pose it was already in. Now this will depend on the animation packs you have, unless you create a game where you can select different animation packs that you can have open in studio. And if you want to be able to do other people's avatars, you will have to have some kind of morph or you'll just have to match the position. And there's actually a plugin called load character <coughs> by already pro, which you can just go ahead and type anybody's name. old friend here and then you just put them in there and then you've got their avatar and you could pose that if you want to <clears throat> but we're just gonna stick with this for now so you might be wondering how do I get it into like that pose okay so let me show you the thing you've got to do is go ahead when your character is running playing an animation now you go ahead and make sure you hover above the pause button and you just pause it, whatever position you want. And then you can copy that. Make sure you paste it, group it, copy it, then stop and paste. It. There, there's that pose you can start from. You know, I could, I could see this maybe my guy is doing jumping jacks and I could I could make like a step frame animation kind of thing if you want to get a swimming animation you just go into the water like this and then that sound is gonna play <laughs> over and over again uh, Okay. Anchor, copy, paste, group, copy, stop, and then paste. Okay, so you probably kind of get the idea. That's how you do that. I hope you find this useful. <laughs> it's just a bunch of copies of me. Now I'll have some videos on posing in the future on exactly how to do it, different methods. And I, if you watched my old videos, you may have heard me mention the fact that I was trying to find out how to use um, animation skeletons. I knew how to do it in Blender, but I'd never done it in Roblox Studio. Well, I figured it out. So I'll teach you how to do that too. And you don't have to just move every single part in 
in the character you can you can make it a lot easier and use inverse kinematics um, which I'll tell you what that is later anyways that's it for tonight let's build a better world <laughs> Okay, calm down, buddy. Join the Discord server, Roblox Master Builders, if you either need help or you want to help people. If you're a good person, join the... No, I'm just kidding.